Hey guys, it's Ashley Tisdale and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skincare routine and my glowy, dewy, all natural makeup routine. All right, let's get started. This is my ultimate face wash. It's so good. It is Joanna Vargas Vitamin C Face Wash. One of the things I've learned is that when I go to my dermatologist or get a facial, they really take the time to wash your face. I'm someone who at the end of the day can be like, oh, I just wanna get this off real fast, but it's so important to really take the time. And you know, get like a little massage in there. It feels good. I take these, they're fresh pads. I use these when I'm having breakouts. I don't use them all the time. And I do have a little bit of breakout. I am in my period, so <laughs> that's probably why. I just take a pad. the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum by PCA Skin. So I just take two pumps of that and I'm still wet. So I am not fully dry. That's important to know. I've always taken good care of my skin since I was young. I think I've learned from my grandma, to be honest. She's someone who takes care of her skin all the time, still today. And so I just have always really cared about caring about it. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Hydrolux Intensive Hydration. Something that I've always done is that I spend a lot more money on my skincare than my makeup. It's just, if you're gonna spend money, spend on your skincare, because that is where you have to take care of it the most. I'm going to take my Nurse Jamie roller and just, mm, this feels so good. What it does is it uplifts and it uplifts my spirit, that's for sure. <laughs> it makes me feel so good. I also suffer from TMJ, so this is like a massage for that. I think you like go like this too. Really important is the SPF. I have not always worn sunscreen. As I've gotten older, it's become more important to me. I do this morning and night, the Fortuna Skin. I've used so many different eye creams since I was like in my 20s. And I started earlier, cause like, you know, why not for preventative reasons? And this has to be like the best one. I'm not kidding you. Self care is super important to me and skincare is a part of that. I'm very open about how I have struggled with mental health. And so I can have anxiety tick up. Being home for this long and then obviously having a baby, like my life has changed a lot just like everyone else's. I have created a lot of rituals for myself that really help ground me. Just like opening up a window, lighting a candle, putting a bath and you know, putting a hair mask in and it just like makes me feel like so good. So now let's get into my makeup routine. I am going to take this, it's Merit. Basically it's a complexion foundation. I just kind of like put it on like this and I take this Fenty foundation brush, which is my favorite. It's so soft. When I used to go to events, I would obviously use a heavier foundation, but because I'm home a lot, I just, there's just no reason to be putting all that on. I look at um, living a cleaner lifestyle as a lifestyle, not a diet. And sometimes like, you know, if you're on a diet, you're like bound to go back to the other stuff. So I really just try to incorporate products that I really love that are clean, but I am okay with also using stuff that is just like, I cannot find a replacement for yet. So it is just kind of a balanced little lifestyle. I like learning from people I work with I also, because of dealing with anxiety, a lot of the time when I was going to events, I would get very anxious. People think that it's like very glamorous to just have hair and makeup and like have everybody over and you get your hair and makeup done. Probably feels like prom or something like every single night that you're going to an event. I learned when I would do my makeup myself for an event, hair, it's like I'll always use someone to help me with my hair, but I'll do my own makeup and it makes me feel like participating in some way. And I learned a lot like years ago on YouTube. So that 
is where I learned all of my secrets. I think there's memes of all the red carpet stuff that I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I doing? You know what? It was such a good time at the same time. Like I really could care less what people thought about me. And I think that's like such a beautiful thing. Now I care too much about what people think. I didn't do my makeup back then. <laughs> Those were not my makeup choices. Next is the Rose Ink Concealer in 50. People love to Instagram me some old throwbacks of my style and it is hilarious, honestly. Definitely being a mom has changed my beauty routine because I just don't got time to do stuff. It's become definitely quicker for sure. Now I'm going to take my all time favorite Chanel bronzer. I like this cause this is shaped for the contour. And then it's just really about blending. Laura Mercier, another classic, all time favorite. Powder underneath my eye. I kind of like where I feel the most shiny. I am going to just take this Charlotte Tilbury, just I'm using the end of it. I get my eyebrows laminated, so I really don't have to do much to them. Although there is like a little space right there, so I'll fix that. This is my all time biggest secret ever. I have used this for so long. I always make sure to bring this. It's Bobbi Brown. It's the bronzing powder. And what I do, I kind of just like go over my whole face. So it just, I don't know. There's something about it that kind of gives me that like, like little level up glow. And then there's this. Oh, I learned this from Vogue. I think this was Hillary. This is kind of like where my makeup has completely changed since being a mom and in the pandemic. I really just take this Bobbi Brown, I take my brush. And then I just take this little brush and do the bottom. This is Fenty Beauty. I take it with my finger and I just put it on the lid. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a shimmer. This is the scariest part. <laughs> I have been pinched with one of these things, so I think I've just had PTSD. When I'm on set, I 100% do my mascara, and if I'm gonna like do lashes for sure. Oh, and this is Kosas, which is the best mascara, and it's clean, which is awesome. There's too much pressure and stress to kind of like dive into like a very like non-toxic lifestyle. And it's very expensive. I love that actually we're living in a time where there are clean products that have great color. You know, like there, I think at one point, I remember like back in the day, it was just like hardly able to cover. And I was like, there's gotta be like, you know, something. So I was not in love with clean products, you know, obviously like 15 years ago, but now I feel like we're at a great place. I'm going to put on my cheek which is Giorgio Armani and it's a blush. This is amazing. So I just like dot this on. And this is something that I saw a makeup tip by Selena who got it from her makeup artist is to go up. And then I just like blend and like really blend it in. One of the products that I will keep in my bag to reapply is obviously lipstick. <laughs> so this is Charlotte Tilbury and it's Pillow Talk, and it's by far like my favorite lip. I also just do one last thing, which is a secret. I have been developing something with Frenchie, and it's my last thing that I put on, and I put on my hands, and it smells very good. And last but not least, this perfume is the best, just because it smells different on everyone. All right, guys, I am ready to go. Have a fun day of work and being with my baby. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my skincare and makeup routine. And thank you so much, Vogue.